my name is Brandi White, and I'm a master's student in Forest Rowers Lab at San Diego State University. And in the Rower Lab, we study microbial interactions on coral reefs. There is a correlation between having more algae on a coral reef. Here's a happy, happy, colorful coral. And decreased coral survivability. So here's a little bit of algae. And here's an algal, algal overgrowth. And it grows on the coral and leads to coral mortality. Our research has shown that the presence of algae changes uh, the metabolism of microbes on coral reefs, and it also changes the microbial community. I'm interested to know if these algae cause the bacteria to produce signaling compounds that affect the coral survivability. So all types of organisms, and that goes for plants and animals and bacteria, can all produce vesicles. Now, a vesicle is basically a tiny membrane sac that contains and protects a package. And of the many, many things that could be inside of this package, we could have signaling molecules. And so the vesicle protects the package, but it also has specialized proteins on the outside of the membrane that kind of act as like the address for the package to make sure it gets to exactly where it wants to go. So you can kind of think of it as a cellular package delivery system. Now, sometimes it would be all right to have your package just diffused into the environment, but especially when you consider that some of the signals that a bacteria might want to send to a coral are harmful, like toxins, you can understand why you wouldn't want that to be out near your own cells. So this would be a negative interaction. So I'm interested in studying the contents of these vesicles that produ are produced on the surfaces of corals, as well as the structure and the uh, specific proteins on the outside of these membranes so that maybe we can use that knowledge to understand how the reef works and to produce synthetic vesicles that could deliver uh, medicine to coral reefs. <laughs>